Oh, so you've cameras, been a scammer for two years. years. Okay, well, it's something to be proud of there, Kevin. Yes, I'm quite proud of it. Thank you for calling. Thank you for calling support. You're connected with Kevin. How can I assist you? I don't know. Says, Are you facing any problem with the computer? Yeah, apparently so. Uh, it says your computer has been blacked. And all those yellow letters are all squiggly. Microsoft alert, call this number immediately. This is loading some kind of interface at 77%. You must contact us immediately so our expert engineers can walk you through the removal process over the phone to protect your identity. Please call within five minutes to prevent your computer from being disabled. I, I don't I, I don't know what to I don't know what's going on. I try to leave and won't let me leave. It makes press me escape yep, to hear, close this page. You hear that? I hear her? I don't know. She says press escape and you don't press call Press escape to close this page. I don't know. Seems like that your computer is infected with virus or spyware. If you can uh, read out the alert uh, more closely or if you take a look, it's telling you whether it's a Trojan, a virus or spyware. Can you see it? It says malicious pornographic spyware risk aware detected. Error 3x3103fx. Don't ignore this critical alert. Okay. Well, spywares are the kind of program which transmits your data to third party. They they are like it's like a hacking attempt on the computer. Well, how do they do that? Do you uh, I don't like understand. whenever you visit any kind of malicious, whenever you visit any kind of malicious website, if it's if the website infected and you click anywhere on that, the virus will automatically download in your computer without your knowledge. Or sometimes what happens if you open an email attachment and you know open any kind of emails, the virus will get downloaded without your knowledge in the computer. And using the virus, these hackers they can get into your machine, they can steal your personal or your financial data. Not a yellow do you do part. Any, uh, the yellow any part went away, and all I got left is that white part. I, I, maybe it's going away by itself. No. Okay, let me just do one thing. Let me connect this. Let me connect this computer. I will diagnose and look for the problem and tell you what needs to be done. Okay. Okay. I, okay. I didn't realize I was gonna have to do that. Okay. Whatever we gotta do, I guess. Right. Okay. I want you to look down to the keyboard. Yeah. On the left bottom corner, there is a control key. C T R L. Your left or my left? Your left, sir. Okay, I see it. Right next to control, which key do you have? It's a white key with a flag. Yes, that is the Windows key. Okay. What you need to do, you need to press the Windows key, hold it down, and while holding it down, press the letter R. Okay. Now this other thing popped up. This is type the name of a program folder document or internet resource and Windows will open it for you. Yes, you need to you need to type in there the letter I as an ice cream. I E as in echo. X as in xylophone. Xylophone begins with an X? Okay. It's an X. X as in X ray. I thought it began with a Z. I must be wrong. Okay. It's uh, xylophone, like yeah. Okay, I E X. Then P as in Pennsylvania. Okay, so it's connected. A support representative will be with you shortly. Yes. Now you will receive some options on the computer screen. From those options, you have to click on Allow Access. Okay, and yes, these are the options which you need to choose. Okay. Now please click on Allow Access. Okay. Yes. Well, it doesn't appear to be doing anything else. Sir, like in order oh, to diagnose the computer, we need to check the computer. It, well, the just thing just okay. geek slash all would like to perform one or more of these yes. actions. Okay. Okay. Yeah, click on okay. 
Now can you see I'm moving the mouse on your computer screen? Yep, I see that. Yes, I'm connected with the computer. Please go ahead and type in your first and last name over here. Your email, we will go ahead and send you the diagnostic report of the computer to your email address. See, your computer is infected with riskware and spyware. Alright, uh, let me check the system info first of all. Okay. Check in the system info over here, you can see on the computer screen. Yep, we see that. Putting information. And can you tell me that when did you purchase this computer? Like, how old is this machine? Oh, probably six to eight months. I know it's not a yeah, year you yet. You bought this machine in 2016? Yeah, you bought this machine in 2016. Yeah, it's almost a year. Installation date? Yeah. Yeah, it is almost a year. And are you using it? Are you using any kind of security on this computer? No, and a virus I got. That's all. Just the entire virus? Yeah. Like uh, I believe you are aware that virus only protects you from, you know, entire virus only protect you from viruses. What and have I got? Problem you're having? It's a. Uh, I I will check it for you. Okay. Like I'm checking the computer. You are having over here in the computer is a riskware, a spyware. I I got uh something for that too. Malware bite, mail bite, something mm. like that. Mal yeah, malware bite. Okay. A vast free antivirus, these are the securities which you are using. Malware bite, which is a free security, a vast which is a free security. And let me show you the compatibility of this. What's this thing here? It says unresponsive. The computer is getting froze up. Uh -uh. The AVAS and the malware byte which you are using is only compatible up to Windows 8. And for the second thing is that they are a free software which you can download over the internet. Free softwares are like a trial version. You can see you are using Windows 10 Home Premium. Yeah. This is a premium computer with 6 gigabyte of random access memory. Right. Let me check if there is anybody who's trying to gain access into your computer, like any hackers who are trying to steal your information. Okay. I'm checking over here the net stat, which is your network status. If anybody is trying to get into your computer, this net stat will give us the report that whether there is any kind of foreign addresses present on the computer or not. Okay. If you can take a look over here, your target. Your CLS ID, this is your computer's Windows ID, the license key which we call. It is expired. And let me check the net set, okay? Where does it say that? Send to target. So over here. I don't see it. They have sent the virus to this Windows. Send to the target and this is the Windows license key. This is your Windows key. Okay. Well, I don't know where it's expired can't be expired, it's not even a year old. I know, it's not expired, I mean that the Windows key which you are using, they targeted it, like every every Windows has a license key. This is your Windows license key, and these hackers, they use that license key to target your computer, they send the virus into this computer. Oh, oh okay. Using that, and cause of that, like the Windows infected with the virus, and cause of that the services are getting corrupted. And if over 60 to 70 percent services of the computer is crashed or corrupted, the computer will, you know, unbootable. Uh -oh. If you take a look over here, these are the services which are running on the computer and some of them are getting suspended. May yeah, I see that? What? what what's Shell, Xperian? What's that do? So these are the services which help in running the computer, in running the security part of the computer. Oh. And take a look over here. And your TCP connection, which means in your network activity, I'm checking the network. 
there are remote ex addresses which are connected with you. Okay. These are the remote addresses I was talking about. Who have yeah. who, you know who can get into your machine, who can take your bank information, your financial information. Oh, I don't like that. And you can see over here the firewall. Firewall allowed these TCP connection. They are not restricted anymore. They crash the security of the computer. They crash the firewall. This computer is pretty much messed up right now because you were using a free security. Free huh. security is like a trial version. Huh? I thought it would work. No, sir. Free security never works for your computer. We you need to install a compatible security a network firewall through Windows Help Desk. Okay. I will recommend your security which you have to purchase from Windows Help Desk. Would be a network security. I'm recommending on the network security because network security comes with the firewall, spyware, poisons, and other infections. Network security covers all the possible infections which you can get over the internet. Hackers, it will secure your banking information, your shopping, your emails. Okay. But the best part about that is it makes your data encrypted. Encrypted means nobody, the foreign people won't be able to see your information. All of your information will be encrypted. It will be only visible to you. Nobody else can use this, use or see this information. Okay. So I will generate the license key for you for this security. It comes with five year and lifetime. So if you can tell me that how long you want the security I will check the prices for you through Windows help desk and let you know let's do the five year five year five year one is going to cost you five ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents including taxes and technician fees along with it you will be getting technical support because the warranty of the computer is expired which means in future you face any kind of problem with the computer you know, we are going to install the security. We are recommending the security. And after the security, you face any kind of problem. We are the one who, are, who is responsible. So we are going to give you the technical support. We are going to fix the issue free of cost for you. It's a transferable security, which means you go ahead and change the computer. You can still have the security for your new device. You don't have to purchase security again and again. It will cover up to three computers. The lifetime one is going to cost you $749.99. It will cover up to five computers. Uh, I don't have five computers. You will get all the legal... Do like that's for lifetime, like your other devices, your all home devices, like if you have printer, your uh, you know, smartphone, they are all connected with the same network, right? <laughs> I don't know. They will be safe and secure as well. You connect your smartphone with the same Wi-Fi, same network. No, my phone doesn't have Wi-Fi. Okay. It's not a smartphone. No, it's a flip phone. You flip it open okay. and you talk Do you have it. a printer? Yeah, but it's plugged <laughs> okay. in. Okay, and do you have a printer? Yeah, but it's plugged in. It's not Wi-Fi. But it is plugged, it is connected with this computer, sir. Yeah, but it's plugged in with a wire. It just got Wi-Fi. And, the like... The printer is connected with this computer, which means it's a part of this machine. So, what are you going to do, print something? No, no, no. Like, I'm telling you that it might also get infected. The, the security will protect all of your devices. If you have any other computer, right. laptop, your printer, if you want to connect a smartphone, because it's a firewall security. Firewall protects everything. It's a I only, network security. I only have one computer. That's all I got. I, I don't know. I'm not paying for three or five when I only got one. So it doesn't matter. It's a complimentary thing that you can join three more computers. One computer itself and you can do two more computers. I don't need to I just work. gave you for one computer. Okay. I can remove I can remove two more computers. The only thing I can do for you, I can, you know, less fifty dollars for you that is the difference it is going to make that's not very much difference because the other exactly that's what I'm trying to tell you the other two computer support and security which we are giving you it is a complimentary thing 
Was that complimentary if you charged yeah, me for, for it? No, sir. We wasn't. We wasn't charging you for that. You told me that you only have one computer. So, as a uh, you know, a factor of generosity, I you know, wipe out the taxes for you so that it will be cheaper for you because I'm here to help you out. No, you're not. This is something which your computer needs. No, you're it not doesn't. paying me for this. You're purchasing it by yourself, sir. No, I don't need it. And I told you you will get all the legal. I don't need it. Shortly up to you. I don't want it. This is a scam. I don't want it. This you, is, you aren't going to get my money. This is not a scam. It certainly is a scam. You ran the tree command and did nothing. You ran mm -hmm. uh, the uh, task manager that does nothing. You did nothing to check this computer for problems. Absolutely nothing. I checked this computer. You did not. I showed you the services which are getting suspended. They aren't I being suspended. I showed you the services which are getting suspended on they the computer. They're nothing. I did everything. This is how you we did everything the they computer. told you to do, but it means nothing. It means nothing. All these errors mean nothing. Take a look over here. Dangerous infection okay, of the computer. Okay. Yeah. Very dangerous. Yep. Very dangerous. I see. Yeah. But there's Quite nothing. Dangerous. Where are they? I don't see anything. Hold on, it's loading up. Now can you see it? Yeah, the I see. The warnings. Yeah. They mean nothing. If you're so smart, then why are you calling me? Because I know you're a scammer. And I just mm -hmm. want to see how far you'd go. Okay. And tell me what exactly a scammer means. Scammer takes money from people without giving anything in return. Okay? You don't know what scammer means? Okay. And you just try to just keep my computer. Only, it, only a scammer would do yes, that. That's correct. That's correct. I know exactly. I'm correct. Exactly. If you're telling me a scammer, I will go ahead and do it. Well, you are a scammer. It. You are a scammer. There's nothing you can do, so you're just a scammer with nothing to do, mm -hmm. I guess. Sure. If you are so oh no, you restart my that. computer? Oh no, oh, why did you do that? Oh dear. Oh, please don't cry. Ah, I'll cry. And you're freaking grave. Please don't. <laughs> okay. Don't say like that, it will hurt my feelings. Come on, Sam. Ain't you the same mope I talked to yesterday or the day before? No, you're calling to me first time. Oh, okay. Let me tell you one thing. Okay, you tell if me I'm one thing. I'm taking money from you. I'm providing you the, I'm providing you the service. Scammer is something which take money out of you. You can't give they, me nothing. You know, this, there's nothing wrong the with it. What you, what you don't understand is there's nothing wrong with this computer. It doesn't need any free software. It doesn't need nothing. Computer needs a lot of things. Uh, this one doesn't. Computer needs a cleanup. Computer needs a paid security. Computer needs a firewall security. Yeah, I know it everything. needs all that. I know it needs all that. Mm -hmm. But if and I what, had all that, have? how would you try to scam version? me? If I had all that stuff, how would you scam me? You wouldn't be able to scam me. A vast free antivirus? A vast free antivirus? Is that what you had? Yeah, I think it's a vast, isn't it? I don't know. I forgot. I just stuck yeah, it in there. Yeah, a free antivirus? Mm-hmm. A free antivirus? That's what you're using? It works, though. <laughs> it doesn't. It's like a trial version. A free antivirus? A vast free antivirus? Every free security gives you a part of a complete security. Oh. It's not a complete security. If I'm taking money from you, I'm giving you a paid security, I'm giving you yeah, a toll-free number. Yeah, a toll-free number. This is, It'll be disconnected this, next week. Give me a break. No. But I'm working in this company from last two years. Oh, we so you've been a scammer for two years. Now. Okay, well, it's something to be proud of there, Kevin. Yes, I'm quite proud of it. Oh, you should be, because you know it takes a lot to be a scammer. Just anybody can't be a scammer. Exactly. Right. That's quite true. Yeah. That's quite true. Yep, yep. Have you ever gotten a scammer of a month like award? Everybody should be. <laughs> yeah, one. Did you? Oh, good, good, good. Good. 
They give you, you a special you should be pretty spot good in to a park job. your it camel. Matter what job it is, it. Huh? What? No, we don't have camels. Oh. We don't have camels. Okay, I got the wrong country. I don't know. Exactly, you got the wrong country. Yeah, I get all them countries mixed up. Mm-hmm. That's how you how much knowledgeable you are. Yeah, I'm pretty stupid. But you're mm -hmm. not you're not stupid enough to get scammed by you, so I guess we're done. I'm I'm done. I'm not gonna fart around with you no more. You tried the Siski, that didn't you. work. You tried the tree command, that didn't work. You tried the event viewer, that didn't work, so I guess we're done. The event viewer event viewer worked. Even what? I didn't even try to do the event viewer worked. And I I didn't run the tree command on the computer. Yes, you did. It's all recorded. You ran them all. You tried to siski it. Uh -huh. Yeah, I tried it. You tried it, but it didn't work, so I guess we're done. And I'm going to say goodbye, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye.